Hey guys, welcome back to The Pink Envelope. I am excited to unbox with you Wine Insiders. A few of you have heard of Martha Stewart Wines. That's the same company line. Um, I have the Best of Spain half set, which means there's six bottles in here that I wanted to run through with you. So let's check them out. This is just the half set. You can buy half sets and full sets, six and 12 bottles each. Um, but this is not one of their wine club boxes. They do have an entire wine insiders club that I went and dug deep into, nailed out the bottles and their pricing to see, is it worth it? Is the club really a club or is it just another means of getting wine sent to you? Let's dive in. First bottle is Finca Del Mar. It's a Tempranillo and I've went and looked at all of these so I could really nail out information before talking with y'all. Um, on their website, this bottle is $13.99. On the Vino, it has a rating of 3.5 and 2,422 people have reviewed it. So I would say it's probably a solid 3.5. Uh, I could only find it on international websites. I could not find it anywhere in the U.S. area. And internationally, it goes for about $6 a bottle. So for the fact that it's an import over here, I think that's the way you say it, an import, right? $13.99 doesn't seem bad, but you know what? Let's open it and see what we really think. So I just popped the cork on the Finca Del Mar Tempranillo. It's a 2016. And first taste, I was trying to decide by third, fourth, I am in love. This is a very, very good wine. In fact, just told the hubby to go turn the grill on so that we could grill steaks based on this wine. It starts off light, then has a very beautiful finish and a light vanilla to it. It is so good. Okay, so let's talk about the Wine Insiders Club. I have reviewed a lot of wine subscription boxes and I feel totally comfortable saying most of them are a fail. You get weird labels, relabels, um, the leftover stuff, and it or, and or it's just really expensive. So I dove into Wine Insiders slash Martha Stewart Wines to see like, is their club worth anything? And I have to say, I think it's a great deal. So when I researched it for myself, the intro box comes with 12 bottles like this for $89. So that's about $7.42 each. And you can choose all reds, all whites, or a mix. Um, you do not get to choose each individual label, um, but they kind of show you what comes in each box. But they give you a bonus of three free bottles as a thank you for signing up. So that comes to about a $45 value. So you get 15 bottles of wine for $89. So I think I looked, it was like somewhere in the $5 range and free shipping. So it is legit. The 15 bottles of wine for $89 free shipping. There is no commitment you sign up for. You sign no contracts, you're locked into nothing. You could get those 15 bottles and cancel and move on. That is the rules as of today. But what's really, really cool is if you stick with them, they'll say you get your bottles and you just love it. So of course you're gonna stick with them. On your second shipment, you get a free Connoisseurs Deluxe seven piece lever puller screw kit set. So you would get your 12 bottles and the uh, screw cork set. Those bottles are $13 each, which once again, out of all the wine clubs and subscriptions I've reviewed, that is a great price to have your wine source curated, packed and shipped to you. They do also have a satisfaction guarantee. So if you don't like the wine, you just reach out to them, you can have it exchange, return, etc. You can cancel at any time because once attend, you're not doing long-term contracts or commitments. It is a club. Cancel anytime, skip if you need to. The only bad part about it is, is you do have to call them on the phone. It is not online, there is not an app, at least not yet. So you have to call to cancel or skip. Um, no membership fees whatsoever. And every 12 weeks, you get 12 bottles. So that is six shipments a year. Six shipments a year at $160 each. For me, that is sign me up. Make that my Christmas present. As a mom, I get tired of making decisions. I love having stuff like this shipped to me. I get to try new things and I don't have to make any decisions whatsoever. So I do give the Wine Insiders Club 
a thumbs up. Hey guys, I'm back. We have the Finko Del Mar, I think that's how you say it, Chardonnay. We've already, Jonathan and I have had a glass and we love it. Now, when I went online to look for this particular Chardonnay, I could only find it internationally on international websites at about $9 a bottle. But on the back of the bottle, it says they have a US website. But when I look it up on the US website, this particular bottle and this Finca Del Mar brand is nowhere on here. So I'm no expert on that part that I don't know. I just know that it has a 3.4 rating on Vivino with 328 reviews. Um, internationally online, it goes for $9 a bottle. At Wine Insiders, it's $12.99 a bottle. Once again, I'm really good with the $13 price point, especially for how good this is shipped to my door. I give this another big thumbs up. Okay, I'm trying my, trying, I have tried my third bottle. This is the El Pascaito. It is also from the best of Spain and it is another Vincent Gandia wine. I love it, love it, it's very light. Um, I looked it up on Vivino. It has a 3.6 with only 55 reviews. Um, I could not find where I could order it here in the U.S. outside of White Wine Insiders, but internationally it goes for about $5 a bottle, but on Wine Insiders it's $19.99. So it kind of trips me up a little bit, but I have to admit, I think this wine is so good. I would happily put this into one of my collections for the wine club. If it's included, it would only be 13 bucks a bottle. Don't you just love that sound? It's the sound of something really good coming our way. I have not tried this yet, obviously, but it smells really, really good. This is the Terra Sera Tempranillo is a 2018. It has a 2.7 on Vivino with only 83 reviews. So normally that would, that would make me nervous. Not many people want to drink it. And those who have haven't given it a very, a very good review, but we'll see. It smells amazing. Hmm. I don't know what I think about this. It's really light and it starts off just like it smells, but I'm not a real big fan of the finish. It's not so like, I will, I will finish this whole bottle. It's not like, oh my gosh, I can't drink this, but we have tried one, two, three other wines from this box and I have loved them. They have been so good. So with that being the standard, this one is okay. I agree with the 2.7 rating. Um, when I looked this up, I only, I did find this one nationally. This is one of the few wines that I found that I can order here in the US outside of Wine Insider. And the price was $13.99, which is exactly what Wine Insider sells it for. So there you go. Let's, let's see. Yeah, I'm sticking with it's okay. It's good. It's not bad. It's not as amazing as the other three bottles. It's a solid, it's a solid 2.7. Okay guys, we are trying the second to the last bottle. This is my final red and I have purposely saved this one, the El Macho 2013 Reserve, because it had the best ratings in my opinion and it is most like the wine I love. It is um, ripe fruit nose with plums, dark cherries, coupled with hints of vanilla and velvety tannins. And I love this bottle. It goes for $13.99 on Wine Insiders. It has a 3.7 on Vivino with 103 reviews. And I would do that or I would probably do a 4.0. But this same bottle at a Kroger grocery store here in the US is 20 bucks. So this is the only one I found that was cheaper and it's significantly cheaper. So that's a win. Um, Yeah. I'm in love. This is, this is my favorite thus far. So good. All right, guys, down to my last bottle. In fact, this bottle was so good. I didn't even save enough for our filming time. I drank it all. It was really good. It's the Hoya de Carinas Night Harvest Valencia 2017 White. It's another Vincent Gandia wine. They have it listed for $14.99. I did find it on Wine Enthusiast for $12. Um, 
So close in price. The Vino gives it a 3.5 with 252 reviews. I agree with 3.5, maybe even a four. I really, really enjoyed this. Now I will say I'm funny about wine smells. I, my palate will change and I'm sure many of you are like that if the wine smells weird and I thought this one kind of smelled weird. So I would not smell while drinking it and I love the flavor. But if I took a sniff before drinking it, it messed with me a little bit. So that's like my disclosure on this. But overall, I give it a big thumbs up. Hey y'all, that's a wrap. I have to say I am giving Wine Insiders a thumbs up. I do recommend you should subscribe to this wine subscription. This is the only wine subscription in the last year and a half to two years that I've ever given a thumbs up to. I don't like most of them. I feel like I end up with relabels and weird wines that I don't care about or uh, I don't know, it, there's always a disconnect. And this is one of the first times I feel like they sent me wines that I like at a price point that I actually can't afford, $13 a bottle. Um, and it was quick and easy. So I have information below if you wanna check it out. The club is actually a legit club. I do recommend you check that out if you're interested in subscribing. And you can also shop online on their store if you want. Wine Insiders, thank you for actually creating an awesome wine subscription. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment below. I'll get those answered. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot to see those come through and subscribe if you can. You guys have an amazing day and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.